guys welcome back to my channel filming without makeup today just because I don't have much to do today so I didn't fancy putting any makeup on and I just wanted you to see that sometimes I can sometimes oh no um that yeah this is what I look like without makeup so I'm just going to the gym later and so I thought it was a bit of a waste of time to put a load of makeup on just to film a video so take me as as you see me this is it this is me Today I'm doing empties. I've got a, a bag here. This has been collected over a while, so um, bear with me. There's quite a few bits in here, but yeah, let's just crack straight on and let's just get in and see what we've got. Let's start with boring stuff first. Deodorant. This is the Sure Invisible on Black, Invisible on Black and White Clothes. Um, I like Shaw as a range. I think they I always go for their deodorants. Do I think it's do I think it doesn't transfer onto black clothes? Possibly not. I mean it's not too bad as deodorants go, but I wouldn't say I can count on this not going onto a black t-shirt or whatever. But I like the smell. Um I use it for the gym. It does um keep me sweat free all through the gym no matter what workout I'm doing um so as a brand I think they're brilliant for deodorant but I don't think that this particular one is any better than any of the other, other any of their other sure products for not transferring onto coloured clothes so just my opinion oh I've got more de oh I've got more deodorant okay so I've got the Nivea one antiperspirant invisible for black and white again um Nice enough deodorant. I usually go for the Shore because it's a bigger bottle. Only that's the, you know, one of the things that I like about it. It's a bigger bottle, you get more, obviously. But um, I th I think this might, I'm a bugger for things that are on offer. If it's on offer, I want it. I don't care if it's a brand that I don't use. I usually go for things that are on offer first over, especially deodorant. Deodorant, deodorant is deodorant. It does the same job. And I've never really found a crap deodorant. So if it's if if this one was on offer and it was cheaper than the Shaw, I'd definitely go for, for this one. So I presume that's why I bought this one. But again, I don't find any of them any better or worse than others for transferring. I think you have to be just as careful with whatever deodorant you use. Um, so I think we're away from... I think we're quite away yet from being completely... from being completely free from having it going onto your clothes. But what else, what else? Okay, I have black hair, obviously, but it is very gray. I think about, I would say 90% gray. And also um, because of the vitamins that I take, which I'll talk about another time, my hair grows really quickly. So within about, I'd say about nine, 10 days, my gray roots are coming through. So I have to dye my hair at least every two weeks. And in between, when my grays have started to come through, I spray them, which I've done at the moment because my grays are quite bad. So I have sprayed today. Um, I know, shock, I don't put makeup on, but I'll spray my hair. But anyway, I didn't want my, I didn't want my grays to be shown on camera. So I don't know, it's just my thing. Uh, so uh, I was using the, uh, L'Oreal um, it's in a green bottle it's great brilliant but it's very expensive it's like a tenner for, for the bottle whereas Superdrug this one here it's called Colour Fix does exactly the same thing instant root cover um, I've obviously got it in black and this is about 4 99 so about half the price and it's I think it's about the same size bottle I think there's a, I think it's the same but yeah, it does exactly the same thing. I mean, it does transfer. If I rubbed my hair now, there. You can see, it does transfer. I've put hairspray, um, hold on. I have put hairspray onto my hair, so you just have to be really careful. I'm really conscious not to use it when I go to hot yoga obviously or even when I go to the gym or get caught in the rain because it will, I remember going to a festival once just realised my light isn't on, but it doesn't seem to matter, so we'll just carry on. I remember going to a festival once, and um, I'd sprayed my hair, and then I'd put a visor on, and obviously as you're getting hot, it was a really hot August day, so as I was getting hot and um, sweating, the visor was just transferring all of the spray onto my forehead, 
and I lifted my visor up and my husband said, oh my God, your forehead is all black. So then I had to go to one of the blimmin' um, portaloos and luckily I had babe wipes because I'm always very prepared when I go to a festival. So luckily I had babe wipes and I was able to just wipe all over my face and then re-put some makeup on. But yeah, disaster, disaster. But for a quick fix and if you're careful, it is brilliant. I find it easier because I have so much grey that comes through. I find it so much easier than um, the... Uh, powders because the powders are okay for a little bit of an area but I have to spray it all over literally all over I mean I have to spray loads today another tip always do it before your makeup because if you put your, your makeup on and then spray you're gonna get you're gonna get this spray there's no matter it doesn't matter how careful you are you're gonna get spray on your face I mean I got it down my cleavage this morning because it just goes everywhere it's very messy but do your do this first and then do your makeup afterwards that's my tip um, definitely would repurchase it. I've stopped buying the L'Oreal and I always buy the Superdrug one now because it's so much cheaper. Oh, I, I am a huge fan of the Soap and Glory um, scrub, body scrubs. I They've just brought out a new flavour actually called, is it breakfast? Something breakfast. I'll show you that in, an, in another video. I've got a what's new video. And um, so this is the scrub, scrub um, and leave them body birth and what's in this one babasu oil sea salt and moisturizing hoba and mandarin oils smells amazing leaves your skin feeling amazing um i love every single fragrance that they've got i always buy them on the three for two because i find that i mean there's a lot in there but they're still quite expensive scrub um the only other one of the other soap and glory products that i absolutely love is their dry shampoo again it makes your hair smell amazing and i really like that one but that one i am always repurchasing i love all the flavors i get it all over me what else have we got in here okay sticking with hair okay at the moment i'm testing out a new shampoo that i just found in lidl which is an aussie copy so at the moment i'm using that but one of the other shampoos and conditioners that i love is the i never ogx okay okay it's the ogx range and this is the fight fallout because i my hair grows so quickly and it falls out so much so i thought of trying this to see if that would work but it didn't seem to it didn't seem to make it fall out any less i still have loads of hair so it's not as if my hair's thinning but i just have a lot of fallout maybe because it's so long and thick so this is the niacin 3 and caffeine shampoo um i bought them i'm sure i bought them on offer in tesco's because i would have done because that's what i tend to like to do but yeah great shampoo and conditioner i would always recommend them um they smell really nice they make your hair feel really nice i've got nothing bad to say about them it's just that i'm just trying something else at the moment What else do we have? Okay, I've got a couple of obvious MAC Prep and Prime spray. I get through this a lot. Um, I have the little ones that I travel with everywhere and I just find it's brilliant. If you've had a long journey on a train or on a plane, I just spray it all over and it just brightens your face again and, and is great for your, for your makeup just to sort of like give that bit of a boost. I use it to set my makeup and uh, I don't ever use it before makeup. Sometimes I'll use it on my beauty blender. If I'm blending concealer or something, I'll sometimes spray my beauty blender with it. But again, I'll always repurchase it. I use it with the uh, MAC Prep and Prime Base Lumiere. It's a great range. I've got their powder as well. So yeah, the MAC Prep and Prime. Um, I have got a new bottle, so I've already replaced that. Brilliant foundation, I've used it all up, but I haven't repurchased this yet, only because I have so many foundations at the moment that I'm not missing it, but it's such a good foundation, I absolutely love it. I just have so many other foundations that I'm using at the moment. So this is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I have it in the shade 7.5, which is quite dark, but I do tan a lot. Usually I'm not tan today, but I usually do fake tan quite a lot. Um, so I, I have my foundation quite dark. I would only wear this for a night out. I wouldn't wear this in the day because it's very thick, very heavy, um, very full coverage, but it makes your skin look flawless. It does stay all night. It does exactly what it says. It's brilliant foundation. And I will, I'm sure, repurchase that um, because I thought about it the other day and I thought I'd, I, I did want to wear it the other day, but I realized it ran out. So I will repurchase that from. 
Um, okay, so I've got a couple of these empties and then I've got another one here that's nearly empty. I absolutely love this stuff. It is the Vichy V Mineral 89 um, Boost. No, that's in French. I can't read that. Um, the Fortifying and Plumping Daily Booster. So basically, it's just a bottle of hy hy I can never say this. hyaluronic acid. I use it over my moisturiser. Um, the moisturiser I use... It's always got an SPF in it. I use the Body Shop and it's got SPF 50 in it and I use that every day. And then I put this on top underneath my makeup primer. I love it. I think it's brilliant. I will be repurchasing it before I run out so that I don't have to go without. I'm never without this. I travel with it. I think it's brilliant. It just makes your skin feel lovely. If I'm at home and I don't fancy putting any makeup on, I, I just put this on. I've got an itch. I don't know what else to say about it other than it's absolutely brilliant and it makes your skin... I'm, I'm a big fan of hyaluronic acid i have um a treatment called profilo and i have that every six months it's basically they inject um hyaluronic acid into your skin and then they inject it in i think it's five points they do five points and then it just spreads and it just plumps your skin up skin up makes your skin look amazing i'm quite happy with the way i look with that makeup um my under eyes are a bit crappy but i haven't slept well for the last few days but other than that, I'm quite happy with my skin and I think that the Profilo really helps. And then using this every day has made a real big difference, has made a huge difference to my skin. I love it. Okay, some Body Shop products. I love their um, vitamin range. So they've got the, now these are old bottles. So this is the old bottle of the vitamin C. This is what it used to look like. And then this is what it looks like now so what they've done they've halved the size so how much was in here in here was 100 milliliters oh okay so they haven't totally halved it but they've made it smaller so this is 60 mil and this is 100 mil this was the old bottle and i had it in the vitamin um e as well the rose one so they decided to bring this range out mainly because it was more travel friendly they said so it, it is cheaper you can buy two of these for 12 pounds or is it three for 12 i can't remember i can't remember but these are cheaper, obviously, because they're smaller. Um, easier to travel with, so I travel with these. Um, I use the rose one a lot, so that's nearly empty, and I will repurchase that one. I use it over my makeup. I use it when I'm on a plane or when I'm on holiday. It's really good. They do it in a mint as well. Ta-da! They do it in a mint. That's really refreshing if you're on the beach or by the pool and you're getting hot, and you just spray it all over your face. It really um, refreshes refreshes is that a word refreshes refreshes everything so i have all three you've got the rose dewy glow the mandarin energizing and then the mint mattifying really good i love them all i think that they all work really well and i will always repurchase these always the vitamin e oil um again i already have another full bottle so this one is empty i use this quite a lot um it's the overnight serum funnily enough i don't actually use it overnight um i use it under my makeup if i'm putting a full face on i'll put it on my cheeks um because the rest of my face is quite oily but my cheeks they're not dry but i just i don't know i just like it i like how it feels on my skin so i use it on my skin and it's really good on your neck i don't use it on my under eyes because of my um lashes i don't want to put any oil in my lashes but yeah the vitamin e overnight serum serum in oil ah yeah and again i will always repurchase that two last items i've got here it's the pixie glow mist i loved it i used well obviously i used it all up and it was brilliant very expensive tiny bottle i wouldn't repurchase it again but that's only because my new love is the iconic i use this every time i'm mean, gonna put it on today i haven't got makeup on today but i sprayed it on today just to give my skin a bit of a ooh, i will always buy that so I wouldn't buy the Pixie anymore. I think it's very expensive. I think you don't get much. I mean, this is 80 millilitres. And in here, you've got 120. Uh, roughly the same price. I think they're about the same price, aren't they? Yeah. So this is from the Iconic store. I also have it in the um, darker colour. I don't know what they call this one. I don't know what, I don't know what colour they call this oh this is the glow this is the glow and i use this over my body on a especially on a night out i'll spray this all over my body and it does really give your skin a really nice glow and 
a little bit of shimmer but not like glitter shimmer it's really lovely and it smells gorgeous and then i use this every time i do makeup i use it to um it's the first spray i spray after i've put all my powders on so i spray this all over and then i dry it with a hair dryer and then i'll put um all nighter oh which i have which i've got here oh, i've got one more item oh this one here I'll put the all-nighter on afterwards just to obviously, re, you know, really set it. Uh, so that's the Iconic. Again, I will be repurchasing that before it runs out because I don't want to be without that. And, and again, that's in my travel bag. I take it everywhere. And the last thing is obviously, I've just spoke about it, the all-nighter. As a setting spray, this has got to be one of the best. And I've tried loads. I've got loads of setting sprays loads um but the two that i always go back to are the iconic and the all-nighter um and obviously the mac but this trumps all of them to be fair i've got to be honest it, this this tr trumps the mac definitely the all-nighter it does keep your makeup on all night right through to the next day if you've got a long night ahead of you this is amazing and i also take it out in a little so when i'm going out i take it out in a little bottle um this does see do slick on it but it is actually filled up with the all-nighter and uh and i take that out and retouch my makeup up through the night and it's amazing stuff i mean urban decay is a brilliant range so that's it for my empties at the moment yeah yeah that's it for my empties and i can now get rid of these because i've been storing them for a few weeks now so i can finally get rid of them put them in the striking bin and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye